guys, and welcome back to the 22nd, I believe, um, episode of Harvard to the Premier League. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. I say that every single episode. Pretty generic now, but hopefully, you are. If you are, then let me know, obviously, as everybody does on YouTube, by liking that little like, that little like uh, thumb at the bottom, just, just below this. Hopefully, you do, though. So, let's go into the fixtures. We haven't been great. Um, I think the last match was this Chippenham result. Um, we followed on from the pretty crappy form from the last couple of episodes and the last couple of seasons, to be honest. We had a good patch there. Uh, season, sorry. The last couple of... Uh, like, for this entire season, we've just been pretty poor. Um, so, for the first game after the Chippenham result, we played Bedworth and actually drew two all. Jim, uh, Anthony Watson, sorry, and Tom Scott... Our two wingers grab, grabbing both the goals there. Unfortunately, we lost at home, which I hate. But we're pretty poor at home anyways, especially recently. Um, we lost 2-0 against Solihull Moors. No goals there, obviously, on our team. Anthony Watson picking up an injury. Then, luckily, though, we beat Cambridge C. We recovered pretty well. James Roach, Anthony Watson and Simon Trebs getting the goals there. Van Gura actually got a 9 rating, even though he didn't score. Uh, we played Pool Town in the next match. Simon Treb scoring the only goal in that match. Unfortunately, we lost um, at home again. Yep, yeah, same old, same old. We lost 4-1 to Bashley there. We were very poor and we were absolutely dominated. Nothing like the Kettering game where it was quite close up, up here. Um, but that sometimes happens in a season. We look at that defence. So 6.3, 6.36 6 and 5.6. Just terrible, terrible scores all around, really, apart from Watson, who scored the only goal. Um, we followed that with another loss. Yay! Dorchester beat us 2-1. Anthony Watson grabbing the only goal there. He's actually scored quite a few recently. But never, nevertheless, we have been losing the, the majority of our, match, the, of our matches, should I say. Um, Waltham Forest, we actually won, though, in our last match before this one. Uh, we won 3-1. Uh, John Edwards, Simon Trebs and an own goal, I believe, um, led to a nice 3-1 victory. It was needed as well. Three losses in a row, not nice for our confidence. But this game, we are playing St. Neots away. First of all, I'll have a quick look at the Southern Premier. As you can see, we are in 17th place. If we look at the larger view, 17th place, 28 games played, 10 wins, 4 draws, 14 losses. 39 goals scored, 44 conceded, and a goal difference of minus 5. So 34 points at this point in the season isn't too disappointing. I said I wanted to finish the season with around 50 points, um, which would actually, if I had it now, would see me in third place. But finishing the season with 50 points is still my goal, still my aim. I'm still fairly confident we can do that as well. I mean, 34, that's only, that's only 16 points which is less than six wins for the rest of the season i reckon we should be able to do that but let's start that off with a hopefully hopefully a nice win away at i can't remember who's it away at now um saint neots so the team's been submitted i'm pretty sure i did it beforehand if i didn't what why didn't i check Anyways, Ross McCluskey, as usual, is doing the opposite instructions. Ask the team, um, meh, passionately, come on, show me what you can do. This is our full strength team, more or less. Um, the players that are playing, Musto on the right, Walker on the left, Marsden and Roach through the middle, um, Bell, Edwards. Edwards sometimes might get switched out. Um, Bell and Edwards, though, in the two centre midfield roles. Obviously, if I'm playing the defensive midfield role, Miller will play there, who is one of our best players. But that is a fantastic goal there. Scott, the incredible left winger, someone who really needs to step up if we're going to have any sort of um, positive campaign this year. He really needs to step up. He is one of our most expensive players, I believe. Um, someone who is on quite high wages. Watson is through here, though. Good save from the goalkeeper. Well, it says it was a terrible miss. And Bell absolutely launches it wide. We've had quite a lot of good early pressure. 
but they have their first chance here and it's straight away seventh minute in it's a penalty fantastic Hartford so this happens quite a bit um, there's a lot of mistakes in the defense as you should expect the team is poor it's good for this division I think but it's poor in general that is something you need to know about lower league management guys is that the defense will be bad and you will be upset by how bad they are but you need to hopefully have a few good players that are a good standard in defense so I've got James Roach who's possibly one of my best players there and Musto as we go 2-1 down oh dear Musto who is also decent but you need to balance it also with good players up front. So we have Bangura, we have Scott, and we have Watson, who are all pretty decent. Trebs comes in now and then with another goal. But how did Watson not score then? Scott loses the ball, and it's gone out for a throw on, and probably a dead highlight. Yes, it is. So, they have a goal kick here. Come on, Watson, steal the ball. Play it, plays it into Trebs. What a finish there. Fantastic goal from Simon Trebs. 2 all. So after a really positive start and a very bad 20 minutes, um, we've recovered a little bit. 2 all now. We just need to retain a bit more possession. Um, I'm pretty sure we're giving it away quite easily. Um, I don't know why I say that. I haven't really seen it, but I just kind of expect that. I mean, from the action zones as well. And we are poor from set pieces. We are very poor. Obviously, we have Rush in goal because Booth is actually injured. Hence, why we're probably conceding a few more than we normally would. It is a massive effect that a good goalkeeper has down in this league. A good ball whipped in there from Trebs. But the keeper just collects it. And I hope they don't score now. Good save from Rush. I'm not saying he's a bad keeper. I mean, he gets in the right positions, but he is nowhere near as good as Booth. Hence, why we are conceding... <laughs> about two goals a game at, at the moment probably if I look at how many games he's played how many goals he's conceded it will be a pretty depressing stat but I don't really want to do that just to save my sanity for a little bit he's only got a 6.6 .6 rating which is fairly good in comparison to the defense that sits in front of him Musto, Roach and Marsden all on 6.2 but Andy Musto with another free kick goal. I think that's his sixth this season. I hope it is. He scored four at the start of the season in about ten games. And it was quite nice to see him coming up with a few more goals. But he's kind of uh, slowed down towards the middle of the season. Obviously, we're kind of middle to end of the season now. I think we're in about February, March. Not 100% sure. Um, but he grabs another one there. Very decent. What is Scott doing with it? He whips it across. Nobody's there, though, and Shaw clears it. Obviously not the Luke Shaw. That would just be ridiculous, but thank God they didn't score that. Really slow from the defence. Seeing as I got fairly quick defenders, it might have been Marsden, actually, who I don't think is as quick as Roach. Something like that. Maybe the other way around. Either way, I'm fairly confident in my centre-backs. I mean, Asfer J played a lot the last two seasons, and Roach and Marsden have come in. Saw that was offsided. Roach and Marsden have come in and just kind of taken his place. Killip also is actually out on loan now because he's not playing at all. Um, right, so we're winning 3 2. We're going to go defensive. There's no real need to make changes, but I might as well just do condition changes. So, Waymo will come on instead of Bangura. Merlin will come on instead of Bell. And do we have a left back? Scott Asfu can come on instead of Tony Walker. Hopefully we'll see out the game now. Game now. We are going into the defensive um, mentality. More whipping of the ball there. He just needs to keep possession. Don't lose it here because that would just be really annoying. Scott, can he do something with it? He can. What a goal. What a goal from Scott. That is what I said. His second goal of the game. And he just comes up with goals like that. I mean, Tom Scott, miles above the rest of this league when I bought him. I thought he was. But he didn't really do much at the start. But he's actually coming up now. Key for this club. A nice, hopefully, 5-2 maybe. We have some good possession here. I think it might be the end, tactic, uh, end highlight. And it is 4-2. He is coming up Trump's. For Hartford, two wins in a row. 
very very nice to see especially talking about this 50 point gap that I need to get not 50 point gap 50 point uh, total in the league as you can see with that win it has sent us up into 16th only one place I know but it's it's three more points it is three more points and I'm extremely happy with that especially against St. Neitz who are in ninth they moved down to 10th now but they were in ninth at the start of the game and it's away a nice 4-2 victory though wow hopefully hopefully this can this can carry on we can get a nice nice run and move on to the next games with two wins on the trot not much to brag about I know I know we've had it already earlier on in the season and we still haven't built on from there so hopefully this time we can and we secure a place um, next season in the English Southern League Premier Division or you never know we're actually even though we're in such poor form we are only seven no eight points off fifth place which is incredible to think about that's three wins so you never know guys I'm not ending the dream here we are we are dreaming to get mm, I'd say the title is a bit too far from us this season um, that's it's actually like 18 points 19 points but eight points is is not easily recovered but it is recoverable it's not impossible so thank you very much that will end the episode Thank you for watching. If you'd enjoy it, as I say, always just like it. Um, it means a lot to me. Nice to build up this series a bit more. Get a few more subscribers. Tell your friends if you liked it. Share it around. Come on. Let's do it, guys. Go.